All right. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yo. All right. All right. What? Who? I'm gonna do this for maybe just ten minutes. Maybe just. I want to explain to y'all what the outright pipeline looks like. Maybe the issue is is that when y'all talk when 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 we when we talk about the the alt right and the misinformation and shit, you get a bunch of people who say shit like, "I don't believe it. I'm a free thinker. I get to do this. I get to do that. Blah blah blah." He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, whatever, right? Cool, cool, cool. No, it's cool. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's fucking whatever. I want to show y'all instead what it looks like when you actually become one of these alt right like. Who? Like, so here's a friend of mine that I grew a friend of mine. I don't even want to be this dude's friend no more. I hate making hit pieces on people I know because I feel like that's fucked up. But like you made these posts public, so if one of your shits went viral and people were sharing it, calling you an idiot, it don't, it don't fucking matter. It don't it don't fucking matter. So like I'm not doing anything. I ain't doxing you. Ain't none of that. Whatever. I went to middle school with this kid, hung out with him during high school, like there was, whatever, right? 2020 come, everybody want to have an opinion, it's cool, it's, it's fine, it's, yeah, you entertain, you, 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 you want the information, you want to, you want to prove to the world that you've got the answers. How, Sway? Anyway, so I got in an argument with this guy. Because he's posting dumb shit. So I was really about to take my time and effort and go through every one of his posts and be like, hey, dude, I don't think this is real. Or, hey, dude, what are you talking about? Instead, I'm going to sit here in real fucking time and explain to you why we call alt-right people who or people who spread misinformation like right-wingers, we call them fucking idiots. And we're going to do this piece by piece, maybe because you think that the information that you're getting being shared by other people is correct because other people are sharing it. You don't know how it looks to yourself because all you see is that and people who agree with you. Okay, Instead of me chopping down the fucking Steven Crowders and Candace Owens of the world, I'm going to show you what a, what a, a real person looks like sharing this shit. Anyway, experts are warning about the unintended consequences of the CDC mass guidance. Yep, experts say they're causing more harm than help. Let's click the link that he just shared and... The CDC was too cautious about what vaccinated people can do, doctors say. Now pendulum is swung in the opposite direction. At first, news sounded great. Fully vaccinated Americans don't need to wear masks indoors with just some acceptance, uh, with just some exceptions. But most of the country is not fully vaccinated as more businesses drop their mask mandates and it's impossible to tell who really is. So while the CDC's new guidance is scientifically sound, the messaging was botched. Former Surgeon General Jerome Adams said, I think the play call was right, but they fumbled the ball at the one yard line in terms of communicating this to the public. So he's posting something that left wing would agree with anybody with you. You've seen it before. You already know people have been saying, I'm going to still wear my mask because I can't trust nobody. How are we going to know who's fully vaccinated? I don't think I don't care what the CDC says. That's the meme right now. <laughs> so what he's responding to. What he's responding to, what he said in his caption has jack shit to do with the actual article. Do you see why I think you're a fucking moron? Not because like of of your personality or your 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 inner your heroism or whatever the fuck you want to call it, because you literally have an opinion on something that doesn't even track with what you physically say out your fucking mouth. And it, whoa! Here's another thing: coronavirus. Corona means crown in Latin. Corona also refers to the aura of plasma that surrounds the sun and other stars. It basically means aura. The the crown is the seventh chakra, the seventh seal opening to God's source. <laughs> when a baby is born, we call it crowding as it descends head first. We are being birthed anew. <laughs> That's why, yo. I'm so glad I waited to do this segment because he kept posting throughout the day. And if I did this yesterday, we would 
wouldn't be talking about these gems right now. We are being, <laughs> what we are seeing is the long time reigning power, the old system dying. It started in China, which is also symbolic of the power China has when it comes to supplying the modern world with just about everything. The epicenter of production. What is a virus? A virus is a piece of code which is capable of copying itself, such as corrupting or destroying data. The coronavirus is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, to dismantle that which no longer serves the collective, a deletion of the fear web in the oh my fucking god like just stay home like oh my god i want to drop like the whole vernacular idea of me being on twitch and i just i want to speak what the fuck yo like i'm sitting here trying to talk to one of my friends like real deep real close real trying to have like a and i'm sitting here listening to you say this shit if you i was in front of you in person and these were the ideas i'd be sitting up at you like what the fuck happened to you why do you believe this? Give me some concrete, like, reasoning as to what made your brain attached to saying that, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Keep going. Fauci just told us they found a variant that evades the test. He wants you to know that you may be sick with an illness that has no symptoms and cannot be verified with a test to confirm you have it, which is why you still need to wear a mask. Stop and think about this. I really, I really, really want you to read what you wrote and why would... The plan was to make people so desperate for a return to normal that they would go and get injected with something they know absolutely nothing about. My man, flu shot, been around forever, no debate, anti-vax shit, anti-vax shit. You and I have friends that have died from the virus. You know, if I go to click our, our, our well, maybe he deleted them on Facebook, fair, I'll give him that much, but like, they were they're on Facebook. Their pages turned to remembering. What the fuck are you talking about? So then he said some dumb shit here. No, I'm not even going to read this one. I'm not even going to read this one. Guess who loves you so much that I'm willing to speak a truth that may make me sound crazy, lose friends and sound unpopular, but I don't mind. Then why do you love me? Your memes don't even make sense. The right cannot meme. Cannot. Cannot. <coughs> Holy shit, man. Oh, this was the one that killed me. This is the one that got me. This is the one that smoked me. Smoked me. This is the one that smoked me. If you believe that people need to be injected with carcinogens, toxins, aborted fetal cells, animal DNA, parasites, antibiotics, fungi, insecticides, disinfectants in order to be healthy, you may need to reevaluate who the conspiracy theorist is. Yo, yo, I was crying. That shit was a lot. I was like, you know what? At that, the moment, thank you. The moment, the moment. <laughs> yo, that shit had me crying. That shit had me in tears, bro. All right. Injected with carcinogens, that's not in the vaccine, nor, I mean, that might be in one or two, but I don't know. But, like, that's not in vaccines, generally. It's not in this one, for sure. Toxins, I mean, I guess a virus is a toxin. Aborted fetal cells, that's not a thing for this virus. Animal DNA, shut the fuck up. Parasites, you're killing me here. Antibiotics, if you believe that people need to be injected with antibiotics in order to be healthy... And then he went up there, he went early, like posted later that like antibiotics don't work on viruses, they work on bacteria. That's why they're called antibiotics. Biotics. But, 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 boy, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if. Ah, you know what I wish I had? I wish I had a fucking like. A pop-up that just like had the clown and the joker we live in a society that's what i need is my next sound alert just we live in a society oh my god oh my god and it's like 
I want to figure out, like, this is an honest truth. I'm not doing this to, like, just shit on a person for whatever they think. Because at the end of the day, we all have thoughts that you, there are going to be things that somebody who's really crazy can say that you might still, like, have a, get, like, all right, Crazy Joe right? the government really do be fucking us up. But he don't got to be saying that with his dick out. Like, okay, I can, we can see the, we can see the difference, right? But, hey, yo, how, I, I want to know what, wh who's charismatic enough to make you sit there and be like, that's the truth. That's what I need to hear. How the media creates panic behind camera in front of camera. Notice anything different? I mean, there's so much like backstory that I need on this. Oh, wow, that was easy to find. A picture of reporter in protective medical gear has fueled claims uh, that the media dedicated to American politics that hypes the COVID-19 pandemic. The photo actually shows a team in Lebanon reporting on a local factory that makes protective suits. Five-second Google search that you watched me do in real time. But he's posting that believing in it. How do I get through to people like that? The fence sitters, this is, this is what I make content for, the fence sitters. Because I would hate for more people to fall into that. How do I, <clears throat> how do you debunk that? If I go right now and be like, yo, uh, which I'm about to do, which you're about to see. Oh, and look at this. He's posting something that was posted in 2020 to make his point. He's posted something from 2020 to make his point. So if I if I disprove one of his one of his posts, oh well, you can't disagree with everything. Again, and I hate that people think this about me, that I can't be wrong, that I have this 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 identity that like everything I say is correct. I only talk about things that are rationally easy to look at. If you want to have a discussion on ideologies, I would love to. I would love to learn more about what you think and how you got there. But like. If this is what you end up with after all your thought processes, then of course I'm going to think you're fucking stupid and everything you're saying is wrong. It's not hard to understand why I would think that. That's what I hate about people, especially the right who says, oh, they're all a bunch of racists. Why are they calling us racists? They're Nazis. As far as I know, none of my friends call me a Nazi. As far as I know, none of my friends say I assault women. As far as I know, none of my friends say I've shot people. I wonder why that is. Maybe because I don't exude behavior that says I did those things. I, I need, I need hardcore, why are you this able to be fooled type shit? Now, snake oil salesmen have existed for a long period of time. Sure. Whatever. But like, ain't no way. There is no way that all these systems exist, algorithms for content, this, that, and the other. And like, there is a thread of, of, of belief that pipelines people into thinking that shit like this is real. We can debate what you're trying to say with it, but you can't sit there and be like, yeah, that's a great point. Wait a second, if we also create the computer viruses, everyone will have to buy the antivirus software. Wait a second. Like, computers and humans are two different fucking things. And then they post George Orwell quotes. Then they post George Orwell quotes like they're smart. You didn't even read 1984. One day you'll realize the, that the crazy conspiracy theorists that the media and politicians told you not to believe were just your friends, family, uh, friends and family members who found out that humanity was generally in danger and that they were just trying to save you. Heroism complex. The old, and it's scary because the right, it falls in line with the Hitler shit. I'm sorry that the conversation has to go there, but the left and everybody's crazy and they don't believe in what you're saying, but we do. And we're the only ones that can save humanity from itself by eradicating certain types of people, you know? That's just how we got to do it. When we get to that point, you'll probably say, no, 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 I, di I, di I didn't mean kill black people, but it's too late. But you're not going to care because you agree with what they're doing.
you agree with what they're doing, and you hope that that'll be enough to 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 save you, to assuage whatever happens when the time comes, right? Okay, sure. The sensitivity is real. Wow. I have a problem doing this, and I will gladly admit it right now. I think somebody in my chat just said it to me already. You're going to pop a blood vessel. Yeah, I could yell. I could scream, but this shit don't stress me out. Because if you're able to believe this, then you're, you're already not worth saving. Not worth saving in the theory of, like, I wouldn't put time and effort into like trying to tell you why you're wrong but like my my motive is to point out how stupid you are not to tell you to believe in anything else because at this point i'm trying to reconfigure your entire system and that's too much energy for me yeah i'm not your savior you think you're saving me i can give less of a fuck about you you've had people who you knew who you grew up with who died from this virus and yet you still think it's fake like your cognitive dissonance doesn't doesn't work with like how I can function in the real world. So he posted this. Not sure who needs to hear this. I hate that fucking meme. But if you have an immune system and you manage your weight, and if you manage your weight, avoided processed foods, didn't drink alcohol, exercise regularly, get prop, blah 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 blah, then uh, you don't have to be afraid of a virus or any disease. Heart attacks kill healthy people. People who are really athletic die like so wrestlers taking impacts, but they doing all the good shit that they need to do. They still die early. Virus and any disease. Like, what are you talking? Cancer. Like HIV. The flu hits everyone. <coughs> It's a crazy call. It's a crazy concept called being healthy. Trust me, it's a much better op option than living in fear and wearing a face diaper. Cancer patients wear. You're doing this on purpose. You're doing this on purpose. You have to be doing this on purpose. Then he said some shit. Oh my god, yeah. That shit's not real. Then he posted this. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to go into why this image is fake because people who are going to see this uh post are going to be like uh 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 you can't debunk all of it. It comes from um 8 Coon, which is like a 4chan spinoff. So, you already know that. Look, someone dropped their immune system LOL. A quick question, if the CDC now says that fully vaccinated individuals can gather around without face masks and go to public places, why didn't they announce this when the vaccines were developed? Because literally we had to see how the vaccines played out in the real world before we could say take off your mask. This is pretty easy to understand. You're, you're, po you're positing a question that has its answer in literal time, and I don't understand. Like, if the CDC... Like, during this time, anyone calling people a conspiracy theorist just smile and let them be. That term was created by the powers that be for anyone ever questioning the mainstream narrative or their agenda. Not true, because you still have the conspiracy theorists that talk about Waco and Alex Jones and shit. And obviously, yes, there have been conspiracy theories that have been proven to be true. But again, it's not the fallacy of the rule. It's quite simply the... You get what I mean. I don't have to be fucking stupid and like pedantically explain this to you. I feel like if you watch this and like you're sitting on the right or you're sitting in the middle, if you're anywhere that's not like center, center left, like or left or any anywhere that's not like in the middle of the spectrum and to the left, like you probably like know this already. I don't have to I don't have to baby you. I'm just doing it this way because I feel like I can easily get upset about it and scream about it and like how dumb it is. But like maybe you need just, you know, a, a, a calm fucking reaction. Uh, what people still who still trust in Big Farm and the medical model don't seem to realize is we used to trust them too. It wasn't until their methods and drugs almost killed us or left us a shell of our former selves that we started to look for alternative answers and found the truth. You need to stop looking for alternative answers and start looking for some bitches, bro. Like, like yo, I, I was reading that and I'm just like, you get no bitches. Like at this point, bro please like <laughs> and maybe it's a good thing because i've seen like I, yo there was this one girl on my facebook she, <laughs> she got this boyfriend she has this boyfriend 
this boyfriend and he's down the alt-right pipeline and like at first she was one of them spiritual individuals like about the crystals and shit and then she started posting about how vaccines are the devil and shit and i'm like okay yeah like you're fun good night goodbye you're fucking you're fucking great you're fucking awesome babe like you're so you're so fucking cool you're so you are so you are so fucking cool. I kind of want to play Final Fantasy tonight. I don't know. Anyway, we know the case numbers are inflated. No, we don't. We know the death counts are fraudulent. That's a lie. We know the disease is not a threat to the vast majority. Fucking stupid. We know that there are treatments. We just got them. We know those pushing the vaccines have an agenda. No, we don't. We know that yo, when the GOP started coming out, when the GOP started coming out and they were like, take the vaccine, I thought that would be the end of it. Because like, all right, there are Republicans that are saying uh, and doing fucking, we watched it one on here, uh, do a fucking weird ass dance and like, get the vaccine. The, nope, that didn't help. We know this pandemic is a sham. I've had 131 people die. Shut the fuck up. If I, yo, I keep, I made a moniker that I said, if I, if I knew or the number grew to 100, I would just fall off the face of the earth because I can't believe that much death has surrounded me. I'm 30% above that and fuck you. We know there will be justice. Suck my dick. Over-exaggerated case numbers doesn't mean that they don't exist. If you were to type any three-digit number on Google followed by new cases, you will find an article for each random number. And I kept trying to tell them the same way. Yeah, this was the shit. Google, uh, there's new, uh, uh, there's a new conspiracy theory floating around social media about how you do as a social, of course, and plus there were new cases that come up with a result of running coronavirus. The theory roughly goes that Google is part of the deep state and manipulating results to show that nearly everything is now related to coronavirus. No matter what number you search, there will be a match because Google is trying to inflate how severe the problem is. I'll be the first to raise my hand to showcase how flawed it is when Google's algorithm is imperfect or manipulated like here, which I, I was probably going to go to the, uh, to the fucking, uh, 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 is it the is it the car accident? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's relevance, timeness, and authority, and um, one billion websites. So basically, with that, I I know it feels like I'm I'm reaching for this one. I'm sorry. I just I did this a year ago, so like I'm trying not to retread that same water. New content, you know. Um, but. I did this a year ago and I found out the same thing. It has nothing to do with the fact that Google is pushing that or every state is pushing new cases. It's that every time there's a death or every time there's a number of cases, there's a live ticker that will archive each new like number. So they update the thing. So whenever you look for any number at all, three digits, you're going to find some, some article out there that will show new cases because that's how they archive things. You have to click each link to see that they're archived, but people don't do that. Anyway, like debunked. Anyway, a truth spree is what I love to see, Kelvin. Keep it up. Suck my dick, bro. Like, bro, shut up. Protect yourself. You get what I'm going with this? And then he stopped. Uh, I'm sad, boy. So Facebook promotes videos of Bill Gates, who is not a doctor, pushing a vaccine, but bans videos of actual doctors talking about a cure. Awake yet? Post the Joker meme. Are these not the people we make fun of? You need to stop worrying about that and push for some push to talk to some bitches, bro. Clown shit, real clown shit. Stop saying you did your research before you got the injection. You are the research. Excuse my language, that's a bunch of crap. Y'all still can't... <laughs> Excuse my language, but that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> Bro, you're in your 20s. You better drop a F-bomb and get the fuck off my internet. <laughs> oh, y'all still can't find cure for cancer. You want me to believe that this quick and y'all have found cure of vaccine for COVID-19? Don't let these lying hypocrites brainwash y'all with their lies. Okay. Cancer is not a predictable cell. It is not a predictable thing. COVID-19 has a pattern of how it infects. You can study this rapidly, especially if it's 
widespread as it is. Thinking this guy is concerned with your well-being is thinking like the stripper likes you. I trust my immune system more than I trust Bill Gates' policy. Everybody's hating on Bill Gates and then sad boy, sad boy, more shit. They censor the information. The information they censor is exactly what you need to know. That's bullshit. If oh, oh my God. All right, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. Uh, this is where I got super pissed. So the CC, CDC has put a whole halt on the J&J vaccine because it's causing blood clots. Six cases out of seven million. There's more of a, blood of, there's more of a threat of blood clots from birth control. Um, how do you know it's just six cases? Maybe it's six confirmed cases. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, 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 shut up. All right, I'm done. He posted DMX. You're really, you're really fucking stupid. That's the end of this segment. The alt-right pipeline is terrible. Please get out of it. Oh, my God. Like, please stop. He's already dead.